gave him life at, at earlier in the, in the game. So I feel like we just need to be better about keeping our foot on the team's necks and not letting it up. CJ, what were the thoughts out there in the last couple of minutes? They're always upbeat. I mean, no matter if we're down five or up five or whatever the case is, everyone's always talking. And we were communicating with the time at school at the time. Uh, we just didn't go out there and execute. CJ, you were out for some extended stretches that cramping on the end were bothering you. And uh, this, I know it's, it's been an issue for you really for your whole career. So where are you trying to manage that cramp uh, issue? Uh, this is pretty, uh, this game was probably the worst of the year so far, but I'm uh, just doing what the doctors tell me to, and just we're going to just keep managing. Uh, I'll probably come here tomorrow, take a look at things, and just see where we can go from there. And uh, late in the, in the second half, I think you guys had a five minute stretch where you didn't make a field goal, I think it was from the six minutes to 50 something seconds left. Just offensively, what was the struggle for you guys down the stretch to really get uh, a good win? Well, it might feel like a time to settle. You know, we didn't try to get any touches. Caleb, yeah, you were in great shape foul wise, and then you picked up two and three really fast. Can you just talk about that stretch? When you picked up the second and third, it seems like you've been 15 seconds of running out. Yeah, um, I caught a silly one first, just trying to reach around and get up on the post. And I didn't know what happened the second one. I didn't even get an explanation on the hash, but. Yeah, it's just some fouls that gotta stop. Rocky Lynch made that one on the ACA. You were in for five minutes of the bottom of the game. What did you think of the battle in the game against the Bobby Chase? Uh, you know, it makes a great player. And I feel like, you know, you just, both teammates, both sides of the ball, you know, they always give each other, giving, giving us the ball. We just went to work, you know, he's a great player. I feel like his teammates got me in the right spots, my teammates got me in the right spots. So we got to go to war. What was it like playing that physical? Some big guys this year. Uh, it was fun. Uh, um, at times, the rest were letting us play. But yeah, it was that kind of, kind of game I wanted to play more physical. Was it tougher for you when you have four fouls and you're playing a game like that? Yeah, because you know, you, when you have four fouls, you, know, you got to give up some points, you got to give up different angles and stuff. But you know, that's just something you got to deal with. How did it feel in the final few minutes when they started pulling away? Was was there a feeling in you guys that you guys would get it back, or like how how were you guys feeling in those moments? Uh, for us personally, we we've, we've kind of been there before, so we kind of know that it's a long game, even if it's under a minute. You have to take possession by possession. And I, I think the guys uh, go in and stepped over the line, and then we turned it back over. So just little things like that. Um, Games going to be long possessions will be long, especially towards the end of games. And we just have to keep continue doing what we have to do to you know stay close and lower down a couple of possessions. Coach Holman talked yesterday about you guys needing to play your best and point out a lot of statistics about Michigan State. How close do you think you guys are to, to that team overall, not just today? Uh, Michigan State. Yeah, just in terms of that that level. Pointed out all the statistics that they're near the top of the country. So I'm curious where, now that you've played them, how close you guys think you are to, to that type of team? Truly, I don't think we should have lost the game. I mean, I think the problem is they were better than us. Um, I mean, the mishap, mishaps that happened late in the game and cost us the game. But I don't think there's any huge step or level that we need to take to be to like that. Last question. Defensively, the way they shot the ball in the second. Yeah, like I mentioned earlier, I feel like at times we let our foot off the neck and you know that can't happen when you got a team like that. You know, they they hit shots, they're top ten in the country and you give them life and they're just gonna take it and run with it. So Thanks, guys. Thank you.